articles. I like the article is this from the Huffington Post. Thought this was an interesting story since we're talking about cannabis and and Christ and marijuana and the marijuana conspiracy. Is this story right here where um, a one named Darlene Mays, 73 year old, sold pot and had illegal guns in Oklahoma. Um, the cops. The cops report this, and let's see if we can bring this page up. We thought this story right here on Huffington Post was also interesting. It was featured in the AOL, you know, as one of AOL's, uh, I guess, uh, major, major um, news stories. Let's see if we can refresh this right here. And this is along with the Kanye, a particular Kanye article right here. So now there's a 73-year-old. You know what I'm saying? Now, the story says that she has four, she had about four pounds of marijuana. She also had, I think, about maybe a revolver and a, and a handgun or something to that, to that effect. Okay, this thing went off. This thing went off again. We don't have too good a connection. But we're probably going to have to come back into this story again. But this is just a very interesting story. It's 73-year-old, allegedly allegedly um, is the big gangster grandma, the big gangster grandma in her neighborhood. Let's see if we can go over here and see if this is, um, well, it was the other news story, and then also the Secret Service sex scandal. And just to go on the record about this uh, Secret Service sex scandal, could this be a kind of um, plausible deniability? of perhaps something future or something else that's really in the works concerning the president and the future course of this particular nation. Let's bring that up. This particular story is also of, of very much interest because, remember, Obama, his, um, his code name by the Secret Service is um, Renegade. You remember, it's Renegade, his, his, his code name. Now we already know that many people are not too um not too happy, you understand, know about Obama. And we know that he is very well protected, but now this particular story can be a chink uh, both politically as well as could lead to a plausible deniability should another conspiracy actually um, be in progress. And so we just want to go on the record on that and, you know, get the time on that Saturday, April 14th, 11.23. All right? So let's see if we get this other article, bring this other article back. Okay, when it comes in, we got slow internet right now, so we're going to upload that. So let's just put this under Secret Service Sex Scandal Grows. Is another case of plausible uh, deniability. Something to think about and to pray on.